We're joined now by Mary O'Grady. Hi, Dan. Our America's <laughs> columnist. Thanks for coming in sure. here. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, Pope's visit to Cuba next week. <clears throat> yeah. Should be a big deal. Uh, Pope Benedict is going down there. Um, you have your doubts a little bit about just who's going to be um, taking advantage of whom down there. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, you would think a visit um, on the part of the Pope to Cuba would be something beneficial to Christians in Cuba. But it seems the way it's lining up, like it's going to be a lot more helpful to the regime than it is to um, the Christians, particularly the ones who have been um, uh, exercising some political activism on the island and have really suffered a lot for it. Uh, <clears throat> you've written before about the ladies in white uh, who would protest every Sunday on behalf yeah. of missing husbands and brothers and spouses. Um, the Pope apparently, they begged him to meet with them, but apparently Thank that's him. not going yeah. to happen. Yeah, and they're, they're just distraught over it. I mean, they, they've not only have they been uh, stopped from going to mass, but they've been beaten up. And, um, you know, their husbands, some of their husbands were released from prison. Many of them were sent, to, uh, deported to Spain. Um, so they really need uh, an ally and someone with moral authority to recognize them. And the Pope is the perfect person to do that. But instead, he's going to meet with the dictatorship and not see them. And the dictatorship is going to use his visit to give itself legitimacy. Well, at the same time, apparently, Castro has been trying to convey the idea that he's, over 50 years, always had good relationships with the papacy. Now, it, it beggars the mind to think that uh, Fidel Castro had good relations with John Paul II, whose goal in right. life was to, uh, you know, turn back <clears throat> communist systems everywhere. Well, the, 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 it's true that the Vatican never broke relations with Cuba. And, um, of course, it's in his interest to say to people, um, you think this guy's on your side? Let me tell you, he's on my side. I've always gotten along well with him. He never broke relations with me. And, in fact, look what's happening now. He's not going to see you. He's going to see me. So I think that's really undermining both the church's mission in Cuba and also the... Um, it's undermining the efforts of the dissidents to kind of, you know, get, get some kind of recognition internationally. Yeah. It's very painful for them. What, um, mm. Tell us a little bit about a few of those dissidents and what they have been through. I mean, uh, I know you've, I have read your columns on the ladies in white, and, but tell our viewers a little bit about what they do and what happens to them. I mean, these are women, right? Right. Dress in white, yeah. they go out into the square mm -hmm. on Sunday, then what happens? Well, they, they go to mass, and after mass, they dressed in white, proceed, proceed through the plaza, holding a single gladiola, not saying anything, and in the beginning there were like 13 of them. And one of the things that's very impressive is those 13 women dressed in white and walking like that, unafraid, was a huge threat to the regime. That tells you kind of how the system works. Um, but what's amazing is that, that as they grew, they became more and more of a threat. And what the, uh, the regime started doing was going after them and dragging them. They would drag them across the sidewalk and throw them into buses. Sometimes they take them on these buses, they take them out someplace in the rural area and drop them off 20 kilometers from, wow. from the city. Um, they've really suffered a lot. Another person who's really a, a model uh, uh, Christian is Os uh, Dr. Oscar Elias Bisset, who really was uh, um, um, opposed to the system of abortion in yeah. Cuba wh that is used by the government basically as birth control. And he even testified that sometimes when the babies would live, they were instructed to asphyxiate them in backs. Mm -hmm. He is an important symbol of Christianity. You know, the Pope should recognize him. Well, Mary, it's, it's going to be a striking event when the Pope shows up in Havana. We're all going to be watching it, and I'm going to be watching it to see whether anything develops from what Thanks, you wrote Dan. about. Thanks a lot, Mary.